Okay, and welcome. Here we go then. Episode 50. Uh, we made it to our little half century of podcasts. Uh, this is the Freedom Hustles podcast with myself, John Banks, and Andy Lehman. How are you tonight, Andy? <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Um, yeah, as we were just discussing earlier, I've had some sort of semi-good news, so I could be uh, could be moving soon, getting out of the house and change of scenery. So, uh, yeah, exciting times. How are you? Exciting times, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm great. Thanks, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, amazing, really. We made it. We've done 50 podcasts, this little sort of journey. Started mm-hmm. whenever it was, year, maybe a bit, a bit longer than that. And um, yeah, we were said we were gonna see if we see just see how far it goes, really. And um, yeah, we've made it to episode fifty. So um, tonight's episode, as well, is all about Instagram, um, but mainly the kind of monetization methods, if you like. Um, some of the stuff that we've seen, some of the stuff that we've kind of done. And by no means major Instagram players here. We should point out, um, but you know, some of the sort of trends and that, that I've seen and we've witnessed over the, you know, the years. We're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. Um, so, I mean, yeah. And then I, th- I guess the first one, which we both kind of was sort of interested in, is the sort of Insta affiliates, isn't it? I mean, you, you've you yeah. sort of talked a little bit about this before. I think you wrote about it in one of the newsletters, actually, didn't you? <clears throat> I did, yeah. It's something that... Um... Well, we both spotted, but <clears throat> excuse me. I remember spotting. Um, I, I've always had this idea, or I always liked the idea of building houses with shipping containers. Uh, and as as you know, Instagram is very visual, so there's lots of people on there sharing photos, not just them, but people are organising sort of Instagram accounts to do with sort of tiny houses and then small houses made from shipping containers. And so I followed a few, and then as I was following them, I got watching them and studying them, and then I looked and I thought these are just basically Insta affiliates. That's mm. really all they are. So as you know, with Instagram, Instagram, there's people like you who are a real person with your stories and whatnot, uh, Miguel Barkley. These are just basically people who have built an Instagram account, called it something to do with tiny houses or containers or whatever the niche is, and then they just trawl social media, Google, and they just find all these pictures of things that are related to that niche. And they just share pictures throughout the day, like probably six pictures, three pictures, and then probably individual pictures. And all the time there is this underneath, it will say something like um, basically to learn more or, or, you know, container shipping home plans. There's a link in the bio. So you go to the bio because, you know, obviously it's the only place you can have a clickable link at the moment in Instagram. Um, unless, of course, I think if you're paying business person you can have it in your stories i'm not sure but basically for mo- most people that's the only place you can have a link and if you click on it all it does is direct you straight to a product which is on uh, clickbank or jvzoo and so that is basically all they're doing is just sharing these images mm. and promoting one product and these these pages have got like tens of thousands of followers and a mm. lot of the pictures have got like thousands of likes now i don't know how many people click through and actually buy the product. I don't know how many, did, but in, you know, the sort of law, I suppose, of law of averages and statistics, if you're sharing five or six posts a day to thousands of people mm. each week, each month, you know, you're going to get through. one or two yeah. hitters, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. No, and that's doing a good... it all for completely free. Well, that's the, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. So they're doing all this. Well, we think they're doing it for free. The chances are they might have built their account up. They could have, built it up sponsored posts or shout outs or something just to get the you know yeah. the initial boost of followers maybe but you know on the back of that so literally that's all they're doing i mean i saw one the other week which was um all about sort of the niche that i'm in which is like the sort of you know the side hustles and that there, there was a guy doing it and um well i don't even know it was a guy like you say because he's not he's a completely faceless account but he was this person was talking about side hustles and all they were doing was using tiktok videos so TikTok videos, download the TikTok video. Now, there's obviously, there is obviously copyright issues around this, but these accounts don't sell. I'm not saying, we, we're not saying go out and do this tonight, by the way. We're just saying, you know, yeah. this is this is an observation and people are doing this. Um, whatever you decide to do off the base of listening to this, then, you know, make sure you do your uh, 
due diligence first. But so this guy was just basically using other people's TikTok videos. So none of them were his. They was literally just downloading TikTok videos in the sort of side hustles niche. I don't even think he was removing the watermark. He was literally just re-uploading them straight from TikTok onto Instagram Reels, which is the same, basically the same as TikTok. That's all short form video content. Um, and that was it. And he had grown like a massive, an absolutely massive following, like 120,000 or something like that. Um, it looked genuine because you can always tell you got, you know, loads and loads of followers, but no interaction at all on the posts. That's always a bit of a, you know, mm. sort of a red flag. But whereas this guy he was getting loads of interaction, you know, his posts were working, they were getting, you know, um, comments and stuff like that. And, um, and then the link in the bio essentially was to one of those. So he didn't even need his own website for this because he was using one of them like link pages. You can, you can buy them. They're like a, ten dollars a month or something like that <clears throat> essentially it just creates like a link page um for the four platforms like instagram which is which which you can only have one link on there i and you you know like i say we make them ourselves you know but yeah. you can buy these um link, link pages. Tree, i think is one of link them. tree that's that yeah so he's basically just got one of them and on that page he had half a dozen affiliate offers which were clickbank products and these were all kind of similar to the sort of stuff that he was running the tiktok videos on and we talked about it didn't we we were like gee i mean look at this i mean and it was and 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 that is all that takes is maybe 30 minutes a day get the initial build up done maybe Spend if you have to spend a couple of hundred dollars, maybe do a few shout outs, you know, get some initial followers or whatever, and then 30 minutes a day just resharing content that your audience can relate to and can find, you know, interesting and 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 you know, applicable to what they're looking for. But and that could be in absolutely any niche at all. So he doesn't own any of the products, the platform he's using is free. Okay, we're not saying 100%. We, in this case, it might have been a couple of hundred dollars maybe to get started. And then maybe 20, 30 minutes every day, just post two or three times a day and just grow it and see how it goes. And the beauty of things like Instagram Reels and that, because it's a little bit like TikTok in the sense that, we you know, some will take off and some won't. You only need one or two that, you know, take off and do really well. And it'll probably make some sales. We're looking at uh, with ClickBank, you often get, and JV Zoo, you can get about 50% commissions, can't you, on sales? Oh, oh sometimes yeah. Sometimes even 75%. 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it depends on what the ticket price is. But like you say, if the, some of these products are selling for you know, $249 or, or sometimes more, you 50% of that, you don't really need um, many a month to be basically repla you know, replacing a wage. Certainly mm. not in UK minimum wage mm. prices anyway. Yeah. Um, but like I said, we don't know statistically how many uh, of these products people are selling, but they are targeting people who have a specific interest in a specific niche, and they have large numbers with quite active uh, following. So you've got to sort of guess with a law of averages. There's got to be somebody who's interested enough to buy, uh, like I say, the shipping container plans. Yeah. You know, it's I think they're like forty seven dollars. So I mean, you you know, I looked and thought, you know, you know, interesting product. Be in true, be worth having a look at. Mm. I mean, I can particularly design my own uh, shipping container house, but it's always interesting to see what they've, yeah. what else is in, but what what's in them plans. So I mean, there's probably quite a few people who've bought them. And as you say, with the side uh, side hustle, everybody's looking for other ways to make money. Uh, and so if they do go to the link and click through to the link tree and then have a look at the sales letters start reading the sales letters and they convert, he could be quite easily walking away with commissions each month for, or as you said, just basically sharing other people's content. Yeah. Which is incredible. Yeah. Another, another um, really good one. I haven't looked on Instagram, but I'm almost certain it will be there. Do you remember a few years back, the survival life um, website and that, that sort of took off. Yeah. Didn't it? And then there was a whole kind of niche, around that which was obviously which was there but it was never really it wasn't really in the mainstream that much um it became out they sort of 
these sort of bug out kits, wasn't it? And like survival yeah. life. Then it was a little bit of stuff like, you know, living off grid. And then there was even to preppers. the point of preppers, you know, like growing your own. There was so many little sub niches that you could have taken it. And I was just thinking, I mean, that, that would have been perfect for like the Instagram world. And it, and it mm. almost certainly will exist. Um, that sort of, because there's so much stuff you can put on there. And then, and then, you know, taking it one step better. I mean, the, the only advice I would give the guy that's doing the affiliate stuff, you know, at the moment, he's sending them straight to offers, straight to a page of offers. Um, what would be much better is if he'd have just sent that to buy his own domain, buy a little, little, literally just, uh, you know, a, a, like a, a, a small hosting package and then just literally put a landing page on there you know, maybe create his own little product, a little PDF, you know, top 10 side hustles of 2022 or something like that. And that's the giveaway. And that's the email list built then. And, you know, for me, that's a much better way of doing it. I know you'll agree with that. And then mm-hmm. on the back of that, he can then promote the, you know, do whatever he, do, whatever he wants. And he can promote all them other products. You know, there is the only slight downside I see with doing stuff like that is the facelessness. Is that a word? Facelessness. Yeah. The facelessness of it. Um, I don't like doing that. If I sign up for lists and I sign up for products, I usually tend to want to kind of get to know the people around it, get to know a bit about the people that, have, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so that might be a little bit of a downside, but it's worth doing. It's definitely worth having a go. Yeah, I mean, talking about... Uh people I, I was just watching before we did this i was just watching a, a documentary about multi-level marketing and network marketing uh, and yeah. they were all using um uh, instagram and it's like they're saying they're not they're not actually they weren't promoting any products or never talking about products or talking about anything but it was all lifestyle and they were sharing photos and and it was basically as you said it was the opposite to being faceless it was it was that person. So mm. a lot of people started following those individual people um, because I don't think people truly understand and realize the power that they have in the sort of the eighties. If you had a product to sell a book or you want to be a celebrity, you had to sort of do something and then you'd end up getting in the papers, magazines, probably on the radio or on TV. Mm. So you had to do something and then the interviews and everything else came sort of second and you got the following from that. There, you've got the opportunity to actually start broadcasting yourself, your message, your building up your following using your smartphone and Instagram. You can record mm. yourself. You can send, you know, do photographs. I know we're going slightly off, off track here, but that's the power of the Instagram is that you can actually start to build your own celebrity. And that's what a lot of these people are doing for multi-level marketing. And I, I would... I would suggest that anybody who's listening never touch a multi-level marketing or network marketing uh, program. Uh, mainly right. because really it's like 0.02% of people actually earn something. It's very, very hard to make any money on them mm. because basically they're scams. Um, <clears throat> but the whole method of what they use in using Instagram is just incredibly powerful. And like we said with the, you know, the um, email list building, you can start to build yourself an email list using Instagram, as you said, just sort of uh, – mm with that one page, yeah, just a, yeah. a link in the bio and you send them to a one page and you build an email list, people get to know you. And if you are actually mm-hmm. a person, as opposed to the facelessness of the, ask the Insta uh, affiliates, it's not, if you're like a person, they're going to want to sign up to know more and learn more. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's incredibly powerful, really. I really like the platform. It's probably my favorite one out of them, out of, you know, the, the whole load that are out there. Um, I don't, I don't know really why. I mean, they, they've all pretty much got the same features these days, but I like it because it's it's got quite a lot going with it now. It, I, I personally think, I said this a while ago on a, on a podcast, that I know it's, it's obviously sort of fairly old now, but I genuinely believe they are trying to become like, you know, the, almost the all-in-one kind of platform because although the whole trend is now switching from photo to video, you know, it's still, you can still keep it so that you have like your photos separate. So I like my profile grid. I only put my photos and my carousels on there. I don't put the reels on there. I put the reels on the reels page. I just keep them on the reels page by default. It'll just go on your profile grid. It'll just go out on, you know, on everything. It's still, people still see it, 
but I like to keep it separate. So it's good for that. And I like the story element of it. I must, must admit, I think if you're going to use it, you really need to kind of do it every day. Uh, I don't, um, but I, I'm trying to do a bit more. Um, and I've made so many amazing connections off of Instagram. So many amazing connections off of Instagram. Um, mm. People in, you know, like both in sort of business sense, um, you know, I've sold products to people. I've bought products off people. Um, I've made what I'd consider really good close friends, if you know what I mean, like sort of like people that, you know, friendships and that. And I've learned stuff from other people. I've, I've even had people like, you know, I've I've spoke to people. You know, like the old blue tick, like Twitter. Blue tick is usually like a celebrity, and yep. it? uh, it's kind of the same. I think on Instagram, they don't sort of hand them out willy nilly. But I mean, I've even chatted to people. You, the, that's the great thing about it. You can just fire off a message to somebody. You know, and I've had replies from people who I thought there's no way in hell they're going to reply, um, but people have. And um, you know, then you can sort of strike up a little conversation, and you know, whether something comes of it, or not, I think always everything done always you know come of it but it's 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 a nice easy to have platform you can pick it up and put it down whenever you want um and yeah i think they are trying to you know so it sort of tailors it caters to everyone really if you want to be really you know out there and you know this is me i'm gonna you know sharing everything about this this is our life this is what we do and then talking about like what it is you're trying to sell or promote as well you can do all that or you know in the case of sort of more sort of the introverts if you like you you don't have to share pictures of yourself you know you can just Mm. be useful you could just you can almost like like carousels for me they're almost like mini blog posts now you can put 10 slides together and you can cram a hell of a lot of information in 10 slides you know i do all the time and then i have a look at the insights and you see how many people that have saved it so you know that that's people that have saved it. So they're going to come back to it later. So it's useful. They've they've got something from that, you know. And you can, if you're clever enough, you can put little links, you know, not a physical link, but you can say for more info, visit this and stuff like that. I've definitely got traffic to blogs from it. Um, so I think it's a good platform. It's definitely here to stay. Yeah, I, I really like it. I'm a big fan of Instagram. <clears throat> you said it's also. Um... We talked about this a while back, saying that you was able to sort of turn, uh, you was going to be able to group into people and you make groups. And yeah. then you was, we talked about being able to sort of monetize as a subscription. You've just said that sooner or later, they're on about creating their own um, paid for platform, similar yeah. to Pla- uh, yeah. Patreon. Is that right? Yes, they are. Yeah. So this is coming out now. I don't think it's, it's not sort of like secret news. It's fairly, you know, I've seen quite a few people talking about it. But they are going to bring out subscriptions soon. So that'll be another little drop down on the menu where you can, I'm guessing, so it'll be like you can create content that will only go out to your subscribers, if you know. So these subscribers yeah. will be able to basically pay a monthly fee, um, I'm guessing. Because it's not, it's not a, the, 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 the finer details aren't out yet. But yeah, so they'll be able to set up you'll be able to set up a subscriptions subscription content. You know, maybe you do a live once a week or maybe you post three posts a week, but only it goes out to your subscribers. Let's say, for example, you're doing trades or you're doing horse picks or stocks or, I don't know, if you're an eBay, you might want to sell your, you know, you might want to share all your best picks of the week or something like that. But if you mm-hmm. want to do that, you could just charge a small fee for it, you know, even if it's just a couple of bucks. And then you've got 200 of them people paying there's mm. another nice little monthly revenue. It can be done already. So that I, I should point out that I'm yeah. part of a I'm part of a uh, subscription model. Um, so they've got the option on Instagram, which is called close friends and family. So this is basically a filtered section of your friends that are close friends and family. And then that when they're in that, they, they it beca- it's like a when you do a story, you get like the sort of orange um sort of circle don't you around yeah. around the profile when it's close friends and family it's a green one it always gets pushed to the front so if you're in if you're if you clo- if you favor or close friend and family someone if you put someone in that list whenever they do their you know share or this that and the other it always gets pushed to the front so you can watch it first so 
one of the ones that I'm in. So this guy, he set up a subscription to be in his close friends and family group, right? So he didn't do it on the Instagram platform because there isn't a feature to do that yet. But all he done was he set up a, a page on Gumroad, which is basically just a third party selling marketplace. You can list anything you want on there. Digital products, um, mm-hmm. this and the other. So he basically just put a little button on there, become part of my uh, close friends and family group, set it up as a monthly rebuild. So people just pay the whatever, I think it's seven seven dollars or something, eight dollars a month. People pay that, and then for that, they are in his close friends and family group. And then on that, he shares like exclusive, you know, plays. He's big on sort of like basketball, sports, trades, crypto, loads of stuff like that. And um, and and you obviously get that information by because you're in his group, and it doesn't matter because he'll only share that to his. So when he shares that, if he shares it to just his close friends and family, only the paying people will see that. So it doesn't just go out to everyone. So so, so yeah. that that model, in a sense, is already kind of there. It's just that with um, uh, Instagram bringing in that pay for button in the future yeah. is going to make it a lot more simpler. Oh yeah. Um, Cause like you say, you can, that. you, you can do it now because you can, uh, you can register with something like cash app or you can even use Monzo. Uh, and basically if you put it in a Instagram story or in your profile, if people pay them, basically you either send them an invoice or they send you money through cash app and then you can put them into that special group, as you say. Yeah. So it's possible to do that now. But like you say, if, uh, if Instagram do do that, where, you know, you pay through the platform and then you just share your content through the platform. That's just going to make it so much simpler. Mm. I mean, you know, maybe, I mean, we're not, uh, you know, if somebody said to me all those years ago, just when it's all the nineties, when mobile phones were first coming out and they were the size of the brick that you were going to use something like this and actually be able to make money by just sharing information with other people around the world. You'd be like, you wouldn't even be able to figure out how that's going to happen. No. So it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's impressive because basically, Bird twitchers used to have something similar. They were the first people to utilize um, text messages. I think people used to pay like a monthly fee. Um, and if there was a bird, a rare bird spot in the UK, they'd send a text message out to everybody who had the number. And um, and what they would do is, you know, it was, they'd get the, the, the message and decide if they wanted to go and find this bird where it was in the UK. Uh, and so it's now got to the point where people can actually earn a living using just their mobile phone thanks to Instagram. Mm-hmm. just by sharing pictures, videos, stories, and information, and they can get paid. And they don't even need a website. Like I said, just use Cash App. But now that Instagram's going to start using their own system, it's just, it's mind-blowing. Now, I'm not going to say everybody's going to do that, but, I mean, the, the possibility is there. If you build yourself up with, um, I mean, this is slightly off topic, but it's the same. I remember a trainee nurse in America, she was um, – she was a trainee nurse, but she was using Instagram to share photos of her feet uh, and possibly yeah. some videos of her feet. And so she built up this large following, but she also had an OnlyFans account. And she was making around $10,000 a month through her OnlyFans account, but she was using Instagram to filter the people through. So she, yeah, she, had, yeah. like, mm. she had like 100,000 people, you know, share photos of her feet. Mm. They all wanted to pay. So they'd go to uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> but as you say now, that's all going to be in-house. I mean, it's yeah, just, I don't know what sort of whether what the criteria is going to be with regards to that sort of content. I'm assuming feet perfectly fine, but yeah, I don't know what whether it's what, you won't you won't no you won't get any more exclu- what sort of levels is, of yeah yeah <laughs> adult but, uh, I mean, entertainment. There is there is, yeah. there is uh, you know lots of women on there. You'll see probably just wearing very sort of bikinis and tight dresses. Uh, how how far they go, I don't know. But like you say, it's a it's a clean network. But the whole purpose is is that she used that free yeah, network yeah, just, no, to filter almost. through people, yeah. and she was making more through that than she was as a nurse. Yeah, there's a there's a is a, a plasterer. I don't know. It's not a plasterer. He does um, tiling and like decking and and stuff like that mm. um, on TikTok. And he's from round here where I am over in South Hampshire way. And um, he's got some like 200,000 TikTok followers. And all he does is just do videos of him doing these like, cause it's something to do with like the, like the satisfaction of like the, 
you know, like that sort of ASMR of like when it's weird. I'm not, I'm not, I'm doing mm-hmm. a rubbish job of explaining it, but it's that sort of aesthetically pleasing, you know, when, a, when you finish a job like tiling and it does do a really good job of it, but yeah, absolutely mental, like absolutely mental. All his videos go crazy. And this is all on TikTok, which if he does it on there, he probably got an Instagram account as well and just shares them as wheels. And no doubt that many followers, you know, the law of averages will suggest that he's probably got some work out of it. You know? Mm, definitely. You know, definitely. It's crazy. There's loads of stuff like that. DIY is massive on these platforms. Mm. Absolutely huge. Um, Maybe it's time I went back into join me then, is it? Yeah. Get me back to allowed to retire. Just take your phone with you and just record everything. Mm. But yeah. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll give that a miss. I've yeah. had way too many injuries. <laughs> so, okay. So well, what I'm doing now. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of it, really. There's there's sort of quite a few takeaways from there. Um, let us know if you've you know sort of seen any other methods but I think yeah people shouldn't sort of dismiss Instagram really I was quite I, funny yeah, I spoke I, to someone at work about it the other week and they'd not really even, I'd say they've heard of it but they were like nah I don't go on there it's just for kids isn't it I was like dude you, mate it's honestly you know they, it, it's mm. that mindset switch when I was showing him you know like people you know in his profession engineers and stuff like that you know sharing like stuff to do with lasers and things oh yeah christ you know what i mean but yeah don't dismiss it that's definitely not well i intend to try and use it more but um it's just getting to the habit of it time and habit and i, I just can't uh, a lot of the time can't think of things what to uh sort of photograph or video at the same time well like i say it's often i'm I'm busy, so I forget it's the end of the day. It's like, oh, but I intend to use it because, I mean, it, it is free and it's actually quite uh, quite powerful. The only downside for me, the only the only downside I believe is that you can't re, you can't share, you know, like a retweet or mm, share something. Yeah. Mm. Um, that, I think, is the only downside for me. But, um, you know, it just amazes me how many people, though, do get huge followings of, like, say, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, uh, you know, and several... I'm sure there's some out there with several million people following. It is just crazy. Just one last thing before I go. Um, so I know a little thing you can do is you can go live on it. Um, yeah. Which I've never, actually, people that listen to this, this would already have happened. But so I've been invited to be on my first live tomorrow night, um, which again, if you're listening to this, is going to make no sense whatsoever. But the point of it, again, being someone's contacted me through the platform in a similar kind of niche over, I think, on the other side of the world. I think they're from Canada. And they want to have a chat. They want to do, like, an interview about, like, side hustles and, you know, how to get started with stuff like that. So I've said, yeah, that's fine. So that means, and if we, because because we're going to go live together, so that will be shared out with all of my followers and all of their followers. So it's kind of like double the exposure. So it's a win-win, you know? And and that's another thing, another absolute bonus of it, you know, being able to do that. Mm. And lives, when you go live, again, that gets pushed straight to the top of the feed. So when people come in and check and want to go on stories, you'll always see the lives at the front. Mm. Yeah, another little tip there at the end. So anyway, so yeah, so people listening to this podcast, that would have all happened. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll probably talk about it if it went well and not talk about it if it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> just forget about it if we didn't, yeah, uh, it, we didn't bury yeah. it yeah. okay okay yeah so that was um well, that was episode 50 that's yes. a bit of a milestone in its uh, in itself we've uh we should have hit it a while back earlier but as you know sometimes you get a bit busy and so things get a bit pushed for another week or two but yeah. uh we've kept going and we'll still keep going so it's uh, it's been good fun uh, i'm looking forward to episode 100 now yep okay so Thanks very much for listening and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Cheers and goodbye.